Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we will learn about decompose by business capabilities design pattern. We will see the real world example of this pattern. We'll also see a Java code implementation of this pattern, and we'll understand the use cases and benefit of this design pattern. So, stay tuned till end of this video. There is going to be a lot of learning, and it is going to be very exciting. Friends, in the previous video, we learned about microservice design patterns. Can you explain what all different types of microservice design patterns we have? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. And if you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also in the description section of this video. So, just to recall, we have classified microservices design pattern into five broader categories. That is decomposition patterns, integration patterns, database patterns, observability patterns, cross-cutting concern patterns. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. Friends, here is the end of the video. So I'll give you introduction of pattern, then we'll see real world example of this pattern. We also see the use case of this design pattern, then we understand the benefits of this design pattern. At the end, we'll summarize this pattern. And I'll also touch upon the next video on decomposed by subdomain design pattern. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I'm not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share, and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. So let's begin. <laughs> Okay, friends, so let's start with decomposed by business capability design pattern. Microservice architecture structures an application as a set of loosely coupled services. The goal of microservice architecture is to accelerate the software development by enabling continuous delivery and deployment. So the first question come to our mind, how to decompose a app, monolithic application into services? Define services corresponding to the business capabilities. Second question is what is business capabilities a business capability is a concept for business architectural modeling it is something that a business does in order to generate value a business capability often correspond to a business objects example order management profile management cart management etc a monolithic can be decomposed by using your organizational business capabilities a business capability is what a business does to generate a value example order profile card catalog etc business capability can further be categorized into multiple level hierarchical structure for example order management can have delivery inventory services etc decomposed by business capability pattern offer that define a service corresponding to the business model a business capability is a concept from business architectural modeling when a large complex application is to be built using microservice architecture, the major problem is how to design loosely coupled microservices or to break a large application into small loosely coupled services. There are some prerequisites of decomposition of microservices. A. Services must be cohesive. A service should implement a small set of strongly related functions. And B. That is, services must be loosely coupled each service as an API that encapsulates its in implementation. Let's consider an example of online bookstore. It can have following business capabilities and corresponding microservices like book catalog management, inventory management, order management, warranty management, and etc. So, if you see as a monolithic, it is a single compact application which has all these functionalities but when we decompose it into a microservice architecture then we created those microservices for those business capabilities around inventory management order management warranty management and catalog management and so on right whenever you want to bring monolithic application to microservices use this pattern to understand the business capabilities Use this pattern to understand business models so that you can create service accordingly. If we see in this example, we have 
business capabilities like customer account management, order management, book inventory management, and shipping management. And we have created the microservices on those business capabilities like account service, order service, book service, and shipping service. So, where to use these design patterns? Whenever you want to break or decompose monolithic application into a microservices, then you can use this design pattern. Use this design pattern to understand the business capabilities you have in your domain. Use this pattern to understand the business model so that you can create services accordingly. Let's understand the advantages that we get out of this pattern. This pattern generates a stable microservice architecture if the business capabilities are relatively stable. The development team are cross-functional and organized around delivering the business values instead of technical feature. Services are loosely coupled, stable architecture. As the business capabilities are stable, this architecture is highly stable. Cross-functional team is another advantage. Development team work independently and also can use different technology. Okay friends, so let me summarize what we learn in this video today. I explain you what is decomposed by business capability design pattern. Then I gave you a real world example of design pattern. Then we saw the use cases of this design pattern. We also understood the benefit of using this design pattern. So friends, let me know if you have already used this pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful. Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. That was amazing. Friends, in the next video, we'll discuss about another pattern that is decomposed by subdomain design pattern. We will learn what is decomposed by subdomain design pattern. We'll see a real world example of that pattern. We also understand use cases of that pattern and we will see a benefit of that design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.